As the 21st century unfolds, over 120 million children worldwide still lack access to education due to poverty, gender discrimination and tradition. Central Asia Institute is trying to change that. Its mission focuses on community-based education and literacy programs, especially for girls, in the mountain regions of Pakistan and Afghanistan. The co-founder and executive director of Central Asia Institute is Greg Mortensen. He knows that the best way to bring about hope and peace is through education. We can drop bombs, we can hand out condoms, we can build roads or put in electricity. But until the girls are educated, a society won't change. Greg first traveled to Pakistan in 1993 on an expedition to climb K2, the world's second highest mountain. Exhausted and disoriented after the failed summit attempt, Greg wandered away from his group. He eventually stumbled into Corfe, where the impoverished villagers nursed the sick foreigner back to health. While recovering, he observed the children sitting outdoors, scratching their lessons in the dirt with sticks. When Greg saw their fierce desire and determination to learn, he promised that he would return to build them a school. In 1996, Greg fulfilled his promise and the school in Corfe became a reality. Since then, Central Asia Institute has built and supported dozens of schools in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Its philosophy is to empower the local people through their own initiative. Selected projects are guided by a village committee of elders. The community must match project funds with equal amounts of resources and labour, including the land. Such commitment ensures the project's long-term viability. Sustainability of all projects is further increased by dedicated local staff who've been specially trained by Central Asia Institute. Why is educating girls so important? There are several global studies that show if you educate a girl to at least the fifth grade level, it does three important things. Number one, reduce infant mortality. Number two, reduce the population explosion. And number three, improve the basic quality of health and of life itself. But it takes several generations. The real enemy is ignorance and hatred. So we should all put all our strength, our prayers, and resources for the education of our children. That is the most important thing. Islam is saying that you should educate both girls and boys. Without the female, we cannot uh, expect any change in our society. And so with the education, you can change the mind. Uh, education is the light. The most important step in supporting education in remote villages is to have community participation and a dedicated local teacher. CAI selects an educated local person who then participates in intensive teacher training workshops over a period of several years. Hiring a local teacher ensures community involvement and investment in their children's education. In addition to building schools, Central Asia Institute supports education in other important ways. CAI awards scholarships to motivated students wanting to further their studies. Upon graduation, they can return to their villages with meaningful skills. This computer will help me a lot in improving my result and also in getting education. So today it's quite happiest day for me today. Yeah. Education can civilize the people. Education can make progress. Education can do something. When people develop the spirit of getting education, they can change themselves. They can change their environments.
they can do everything with education. CAI also creates village education centers where the women can gather, discuss issues and learn vocational training skills. A sewing machine and materials are provided and within a year or two, that woman can independently earn income from her handicrafts and clothing. With new sustainable skills, she can help support her family while also stimulating the local economy. Central Asia Institute also promotes public health education by installing clean drinking water systems and teaching basic hygiene in all the schools. In developing countries, one of the main causes of death in children under five is the lack of clean water. Clean drinking water and sanitation have profound benefits to communities and especially the growing child. The success of Central Asia Institute can be largely attributed to Greg's ability to enter into a foreign culture, respect local customs, and build the necessary relationships with religious and community leaders. What makes him different, very, very different, is an American finding time, effort, making money for those people who neither his color, nor his race, nor his religion, doing it for humanity. In America, we have six second sound bites, two minute football drills, and 30 minute power lunches. But in Pakistan and Afghanistan, it takes three cups of tea to do business. The first cup, you're a stranger. The second cup, you become a friend. And the third cup, you become family. But the process takes several years. Traveling with Greg in Afghanistan and now in Pakistan, I've had a chance to see how he actually operates. I think the thing that impresses me most about Greg is that he understands the length and depth of change that's necessary. So often we hear this, uh, this cliche, which I think is an oxymoron, which is a war on terror. War on terror only means to breed more terrorism. And what you really need is education, and particularly educating women. 